Hey, I'm Kelvin with Arbor XR, and in this video, we're gonna cover how to get your MetaQuest headset into kiosk mode. All right, so undoubtedly the Quest is one of the most popular consumer headsets on the market today. Largely because of its affordability and performance, a lot of companies, schools, and universities have started using it. The problem is the Quest was designed for home users. So its native environment does include a lot of distractions, as well as the Oculus App Store and a web browser. Kiosk mode locks the headset into a single app, which means users can't access the web browser, the Oculus Store, or admin settings. So they only see what you want them to. The only issue is the MetaQuest doesn't ship with kiosk mode. That's where you need something like Arbor XR. Arbor XR lets you remotely control AR and VR devices, deploy content, and control what users can see and do in the headset. That means kiosk mode. So let's jump right into it. Arbor XR uses a setup app that automates a lot of steps so you don't have to type in commands on a computer. You can download the setup app directly from arborxr.com. And we're gonna have a link to the appropriate page right down below in the video description. Feel free to check that out. Next, log in with your Arbor XR username and password. Then you have to create an Oculus developer account. You'll find this link in the video description down below as well. Once this step is completed, download the Oculus Companion app to your mobile phone. Then log into the Oculus app with your developer account and turn on your Quest headset. Now in the app, select Menu on the far right-hand corner of the bottom navigation menu. Beneath Headset Settings, select Developer Mode. And now that the device is in Developer Mode, you're ready to launch the Arbor XR Setup app. The first time the Quest is connected to a PC while in Developer Mode, the Setup app will show this error. And this is totally fine because this is expected behavior. To resolve this error, put on the headset and within your VR, you'll see two prompts. Select Always Allow and then Allow. A quick note, the MetaQuest does go to sleep every few minutes to preserve battery life, so make sure it's awake for this next step. So we're gonna click on the Setup Devices button. You can also name your devices while you're here. And once the setup completes, you can control the MetaQuest from Arbor XR. All right, we're done with the hardest part. Now, kiosk mode. Arbor XR allows you to configure devices individually or in groups. So I'm gonna show you how to put a group of devices in kiosk mode. But just remember the process is basically the same for individual devices as well. First, select groups, and then select the group you want to configure, tab over to settings, select headset experience, under Content Launch Method, select Kiosk Mode. Then click Configure to choose which application the Quest uses. We'll select Save and Apply Changes. And there you go. The next time this device comes online and connects to Arbor XR servers, it will be in Kiosk Mode. And that's it for this video. To learn more about how you can manage a fleet of AR and VR devices, install content remotely, and control the user experience, check out arborxr.com. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to learn more about managing XR devices.